Okay, so we're going to talk about this Craftsman 450 piece mechanic tool set. I would like to thank all of you for watching. I really appreciate all the multiple countries that you guys watch this from. Uh, I really look forward to traveling there soon to Israel, Canada, Australia, I think Puerto Rico, and uh, the UK. So I really appreciate you guys and any other place that you guys are watching that didn't show up on the analytics. I still appreciate you watching no matter where you're watching from. So this particular kit is a really good bang for the buck. Um, I went to Sears a couple of days ago and this particular Sears was not even on the list as one of the closing stores at the time when I checked the different Sears there was closing. But I did randomly stop by and found out that that particular location is also closing. But I purchased this from that exact location maybe a year ago or maybe two years ago one to two years ago I purchased this 450 piece socket mechanic socket kit and for the last two years all the different manufacturers of the socket kits this is the largest one I found for the best bang for the dollar. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this set is made in China, is a high probability, because this is one of the later, uh, what would you call, runs or versions, where most likely this probably came from China, but the quality is has been good enough for what I use this kit for. Um, this is not a socket kit that I probably would use if I was a daily mechanic or if I had a shop. I probably would need stuff that's much more heavy duty and more durable. But for the average person that's not in a shop, these tools have been great. They have all the sizes up to 22 when it comes to the MMs or metrics. And anything bigger than that, I have individual impact sockets that's large enough. So this has covered 90% of anything that I had to do. And once again, if you're a you know, weekend warrior or garage mechanic, this will get the job done. Even if you're starting off for $199 to have 450 pieces is definitely a, a great value because even the more recent kits, they're $200 for half the pieces. I think Lowe's have a kit that's maybe $240. And they're normally, uh, oh no, 149. I think 149 for only 240 pieces, and this is 450 pieces for 199 at the time that I purchased this. So, this is a list, parts list for the 450 piece mechanic tool set. That's the number. Um, it's probably going to be pretty challenging for purchasing this stuff later because I'm not sure what products Lowe's is going to carry when it comes to Craftsman because they don't carry all the Craftsman line. They just carry whatever selection they have in their store. But this came with quite a bit of stuff. The only thing that's in here that's not part of this Craftsman set is I have some uh, Pittsburgh extensions in here. And this is from Harbor Freight. 
But everything else originally came here and I've had this set for years and it has sufficed for every situation. Um, I do have a lot more tools. Um, I do have ratchet wrenches and all that kind of stuff. But the fact that this kit comes with this top section is nice. Let me show you inside. So, they got these little packages with these tiny little wrenches in there. But, bang for the buck, this kit, uh, I haven't seen any, any sets that has beat this price for the amount of pieces for the dollar. I have not seen it. Whether it's Husky, whether it's anyone. I haven't seen anyone with at least mid-range sockets that can beat this price. For $199, 450 pieces. If you've seen it, let me know. But out of all the manufacturers that are at all of the big box stores, I have not seen this price versus pieces uh be beat far as anything recent the one piece i mean the one thing that's pretty nice is at lowe's right now you can get the versa stack the craftsman versa stack two box where it comes with three trays like this and it stacks on top of the versa stack and the t stack that's pretty nice because it's on sale right now as of today, I went there in Lowe's and it was still on sale for $99. The particular store I went into was only two left, but it was $99 and 240 pieces. That's not bad. This one is $199 for 450 pieces. So the um, that's the only bang for the buck. I think that's pretty good, but I do like the fact that I have all these additional pieces and that one is just mostly just sockets this one you do get wrenches and hex keys and midget things and you have a lot of bits and stuff like that that contributes to all the pieces but it's still pretty cool to have all those extra pieces for another 99 dollars now as you see there's even more bits they have quite a few security bits and things of that nature. Um, this is a very nice uh, heavy duty half inch ratchet. I haven't had any problems with this. Once again, I don't use these tools daily. So all the tools I have last me for years. I have a, I think a hundred piece craftsman set that I've had for maybe nine or ten years and I still have every single piece and I keep it in the vehicle the one in the little suitcase with the little molded plastic it works great I haven't had no problems with that one either so just showing you this kit what it looks like it's a very nice kit if you can find this for $199 that's great. I think the regular price is maybe $2.29. But when I went into that Sears, they actually had no tools left. Just a few little individual pieces. But stuff like this was all already cleared out. So, so I'm not sure if they're going to... Uh, if Lowe's is going to take over all the other line of products that Sears was carrying... So, once again, this kit is really nice. I'm just sharing, not really doing a review, but this kit has been worth the money. And it has helped save me money. And I have not had to purchase individual sockets because this uh, kit did not cover the size. And so if I do run into stuff where my motorcycle nut or bolt may be a little bit larger than the 22, maybe. Um, I have those particular sockets already. 
So this has covered all of my socket needs. This is a pretty cool little twist ratchet. Got this from Harbor Freight. Um, really haven't used it too much because you can't really torque things down to tighten or loosen, but for something where you don't have that much space, you know, this is kind of get in there and twist the socket loose so you don't drop it. But once again, you can't really torque this to loosen or tighten anything. But just as far as the convenience, you know, it's a pretty cool little thing. So it's more like novelty, you know, if you don't have the space. So these are okay. But not to just ramble on with this particular uh, set, but it's really good. It's really nice. If you can get your hands on this, it's a really good bang for the buck. It will cover all your needs up until maybe 95%. Um, if you're an actual mechanic, then you probably want to go with a higher grade of tools. But just to get started... And to be a weekend warrior, a garage mechanic, or something like that, this kit is a really good uh, bang for the buck. Because I do like the Milwaukee ratchet wrenches that have the, I don't know if they call it Max Bite. Those are really awesome, but they're $200 for between $200 and $249 for only 15 pieces. But I will say that the... The polished chrome on those are super nice, and they give you every single size without skipping a size. So, I still probably uh, will order those, but thank you for watching. This is already like 11, 12 minutes, so that's enough on this set. If you have any questions, you can just leave a comment, or if you just have a comment, you can leave that too. But I really appreciate you guys. I thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.